Hey all, I just wanted to quickly share a feature in Reaper that is kind of oft overlooked. I didn't know about it for a while, um, and it's this thing called parameter modulation. Um, so I'm just going to actually spin up an example and explain on the way. Uh, so I'm just going to drag a sample into a track, um, and I'm just going to add a, a plugin for uh, showing this. This is Sake. Uh, this is little Alter Boy. Um, Okay, so I have this custom action that I made. Oh, come on. I have this custom action that I made for parameter modulation, uh, as you can see here. So I'm going to run through what those actions are. Uh, so the first one is effects show parameter modulation link for last touched effects parameter. And the second is effects show hide track control for last touched effects parameter. So what this is going to do is I have to touch a knob uh, parameter on this plugin. Uh, whichever one is the last, I do my custom action, and it's going to open up this window. This is the parameter modulation link for that parameter on the plugin. And you can see I have a few options here. So I'm just going to start with LFO. As you can see, the moment I hit that, there's this LFO that's going, and it's actually moving this knob, which is super duper cool. Um, there's a lot of control for um, tuning this LFO, so I'd say the easiest way to start is to pull strength down. And the first thing I like to deal with is this one here. This is pretty much the minimum value uh, of your LFO range. So let's say I want it to be around here. And then from there, your strength is going to be what you can think of as the maximum value of this LFO range. And then from there, you can tune the speed. There's different shapes you can try. You can even change the direction of the LFO. And yep, super duper handy. That's about what the LFO does. The other one that I like a lot is the audio control signal sidechain. So once I check that, I want to route the audio from the track into it. And then this sets up a sidechain. So uh, from this point, you can see I'm going to hit play on this sample, and you're going to see um, the sidechain start to respond. Pretty cool. From there, you can uh, adjust it just kind of uh, how you would like with a, with a normal sidechain. Of course, you've got attack release, um, min volume, strength, and such. You know, that's going to help you further dial in how you want this to respond. And then you don't even have to stop there. Of course, I can just do this again with another one. Let's say I want the mix to respond in a similar way. Uh, let's say I want the release to be super tight. I don't know. Uh, let's start here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah. So yeah, obviously the cool part about this is really easy to tune and iterate. Um, and just what I love is any plugin parameter is, is able to be modulated with this. And then you can see the plugin respond. So it makes it super easy to tune.